On this video we're going to create the clever enemy which goes down diagonally while shooting lasers. So first, we have to create the enemy's laser scene. Let's create an inherent scene with the laser scene as base scene. I'm going to rename this node laser enemy and save it in the scenes folder as laser enemy .csn. For the sprite, I'm going to assign the laser enemy sprite. For its shape, let's make a new rectangle shape 2D. Edit it. And set its extension to 4.5 by 7. And on the base notifier, the rectangle size will be 9 by 14. And the position minus 4.5 on X and minus 7 on Y. Let's give it a vertical velocity of 150 so it goes down. Place it somewhere over here. And run the scene to see what we have. And the laser indeed goes down. I'll hit Ctrl Z to place it back. And we can now work on the clever enemy scene. So let's create an inherent scene with enemy as base scene. I'm going to rename it enemy clever and save it in the scenes folder as enemy clever.csn. For its sprite, let's assign the enemy clever sprite. And we don't need to change the shape size, but still, I'll make the result unique. Just for the sake of not using the same the enemy scene uses. Now, the lasers this enemy will be shooting are going to be coming out from here. So to know the spawn position, let's add a position to the node. Rename it Canon. And place it at 16 on the Y axis. Let's give it a vertical velocity of 50. Run the scene. And indeed, it moves down. There are some behaviors we have to add from a script. So let's clear the current one. And add a new one, saving it in the script folder as enemy level dot gd. Hit create. I'll remove the comments. And since we want to inherit the same behavior the enemy has, instead of extending area 2D, we're going to extend the enemy script by specifying the script files path. If we run the scene again, it doesn't move. And that is because we have lost the velocity we previously set when we clear the script. So I'll set the vertical velocity back to 50. And since we want this enemy to move diagonally, let's set the horizontal velocity to 50 as well. Let's place it somewhere here. Thread it out. And there it is. But we need of course to make sure it doesn't go off screen. And as it is right now, it will always go right. And we want it to go either left or right randomly. So back to the script. On the ready function, to make it go left or right, we need to set its horizontal velocity to a positive or negative value randomly. And to do so, we're going to use the user script, which has a function that returns a random element of an array. So we'll set velocity.x equals to utils.choose, passing an array with the elements velocity.x and minus velocity.x. Let's try it out. And we can see it goes left sometimes and other times it goes right. To keep it on the screen, we're going to make it bounce on the edges. So let's create down here the process callback and we don't need to enable it since the anime script is already doing it and it will first call the function of this script and then the function on the script we are extending. So to make it bounce on the edges, we will ask if getPost.x is less or equal to 0 plus 16. 
which means that it is at the left of the screen. So we're going to set the horizontal velocity to a positive value by setting it to its absolute value. And to know if it is at the right of the screen, we're going to ask if getPost.x is bigger or equals to the views width minus 16. And if it's so, we'll set the horizontal velocity to the opposite of its absolute value. Let's give it a shot. And there we have it. To make it shoot, I'm going to declare a constant variable name, a scene laser, equals to preload, passing the path of the laser enemy scene. Let's create a function name, shoot. And in here, we're going to declare a laser variable equals to a scene laser that instance. Then, we're going to set its position to the canon node global position. And finally, we'll add it as a child of the main node. And just like with the ship, we want this enemy to keep shooting repeatedly. So, I'll place this block of code into an infinite coil loop. Making it wait 1.5 seconds between each interaction. And I'm ready. Once this node gets created, I want it to wait one second and then it will start shooting. If we run the scene, because the enemy level is the main node, the laser's position is relative to it. Let's go to the spawner enemy script. And since we don't want it to only spawn the kamikaze enemy, I'm going to remove this constant. And let's create other one named enemies equals to an array with both enemy scenes as elements. So we're going to preload the kamikaze enemy scene as well as the clever enemy scene. And down here we'll say instead utils that choose and pass enemies as argument. And whatever it returns, we will make an instance of it. Let's run the game. And there we have both enemies being spawned. And also the clever enemy shooting lasers. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like it, give it a like, share it with other people, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks to all my patrons, and I'll see you on the next video.